My name is Melissa Goman. Well, in school I was uh, studying biology and I took a general education ceramics course and I kind of, I, I was really intrigued by the processes and I just fell in love with clay. And so I changed to a ceramics major and um, went on for my master's degree at SCSU and got my position at the Paramount in 1998, soon after graduating with my master's degree. And so I've been doing tile work and ceramics ever since. Um, my personal sculpture is generally done um, for exhibition purposes and sales as well. Um, and then I do a lot of tile commission work in my position at the Paramount. So we do uh, this, this tree, for example, is um, part of the new Civic Center expansion. And so it's architectural tile, but it's also mixed, mixed kind of sculpture, too. The Paramount Visual Arts Center was commissioned to create the feature wall for the new Civic Center expansion. And it's being renamed the River's Edge Convention Center. And so I've worked with the Civic Center staff to come up with a concept um, that they accepted. And it's a celebration of the river coming through central Minnesota. And so we're recreating a idyllic uh, ecosystem um, that will be used as an educational tool. We have a team of painters uh, painting backdrop and then we're sculpting uh, several different components that will be on the feature wall as well. So we're uh, creating a life-size Burr oak tree and we're trying to get as much realism into it as possible so we've actually gone and collected pieces of bark and bits and branches and things and we're using those to create texture in the clay that um, will help create a, a realistic and lifelike um, model. The, the crayfish is going to be at a a little over 24 inches off the wall and we're trying to hide some little things like that that will um, kind of reward the careful observer and we're trying to include as many of those types of discoveries for people who are looking. I'm really concerned about making people aware of the natural environment around them. I think that too many people now don't understand enough about our ecosystem and the native plants and species that we have here and how special they are. And so one of my goals is to help people be able to name some of the trees, plants, fish, and birds in our region so that um, they might be more concerned about protecting it. So that's one of the goals that I have in doing this.